everybody and welcome to our little road trip video. So um, if you want to see how me and my daughter got on at Book Barn then keep watching. Hello everybody, this is take three because the second time I didn't press record on my phone because Alexandra's an idiot. So today is Thursday and I am on a day off, so we decided, so I'm going with Megan, who's my youngest daughter, she's 17, to Book Barn International. So Book Barn International is a huge book warehouse that um, you can buy books for a pound, so they're either sold, um, <coughs> don't, they're either donated and they sell on behalf of other people. And they also have a room called the Darwin Room, which is full of rare um and really old books and the person that owns book bar or one of the owners is related to darwin i think he's like his great 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 grandson or something something along those lines anyway so it's about 20 minutes away from where i live and it is a fantastic amazing little treasure trove and i go in there and i want to rescue all the books because i have this real thing about um i love secondhand books because i just think they come with their own, st not only are they often a story, if they are fiction, but they come with their own story and it makes me wonder, you know, what journey that they've been through as well. So I thought that I would take you along so you can, yeah, have a look at um, the wonderful place that is Book Barn International. They're also online as well, so you can have a look online, I will leave the link below. But anyway, Megan's just having a wee I think and then we can go and I've just realised I'm in the same top that I blogged in last time but who cares I'm too tired to care so we shall um yeah I'll see you in a minute all right bye so we have made it to book barn it's behind us you might be no you can't see oriental it oriental rugs and it's got oriental <laughs> rugs if you don't find a book get a rug you can get a rug right Let's go in, get ready to party. <laughs> we are getting a cup of tea first because that's how we roll well. Lux two luxury hot chocolates, actually, to be precise. So I have a mouthful of cake. I've got a hot chocolate. Megan's got a hot chocolate, luxury, and a what? Coconut flapjack. Is it good? So where the cafe bit is, there's loads and loads of vintage books and I just want to rescue them all, look. These poor books are looking all a bit sad. Find herself the perfect book. She's begging me to buy it for her. Really? I don't even know who he is. What's his name? Jeff. Jeffrey Allen. No idea. <laughs> Look at 
I'm really sorry that this book proper cracked me up. The life, manners and travels of Fanny Trollope. The poor woman had no way with a name <laughs> like that, didn't she? <laughs> this is why I love Book Barn. The other, t last time I was here, it was a book on cystitis that tickled me. Now it's Fanny Trollope. Everybody, so I am back from Book Barn. Me and Megan had a lovely little trip out there, and um, we didn't manage to finish our hot chocolates because we feel really sick. So, anyway, let me show you. I have bought four books, and the good thing about Book Barn is that they also have new books. I think the publishers sell them, it's not sell them, just donate books that they um they can't sell. So I have got, this was a brand new book, so all the books in Book Barn are only a pound. So this is called The Gravity of Birds. And it's by Tracy, I can't say her surname, Guzman, Guzman, Guzman. Anyway, my mum's really into a sort of romancy books like this. So I bought it for her for Christmas. It was originally 7 pounds 99 So it's by sisters Alice and Natalie. Um, and I think something happens anyway, they go on holiday, I don't know, you know the usual like romance. So my mum will really enjoy that and for a pound bargain, can't go wrong. I also picked up The Lady of the Rivers by Philip Philippa Gregory. I love Philippa Gregory books because I quite like historical fiction because I'm a bit of a geek. So this was only a pound as well. This was originally £19 new, um, that's the cover price anyway. Yeah, so, and the inner papers are quite cute as well. So this is the story of, I think, I can't remember her name. So it's the Red Queen, the White Queen. They're kind of, um, I've read all those. And this is a, that's it, Jaquetta. So it's the White Queen's mum, I think. Let me see if I can find it because it has a family tree yeah anyway you know so it's kind of all to do with like that series and I also picked up Pure by Andrew Miller so this is the winner of the Costa Award and again it's more historical fiction it's set in Paris in 1785 and the back the blurb on the back is quite intriguing because this is a year of bones of brave dirt relentless work of mummified corpses and chanting priests, a year of rape, suicide, sudden death, of friendship too, of desire, of love, a year unlike any other he has lived. And it's supposed to be a really good historical fiction. And I also picked up Jane Eyre because it's one of the classics that I haven't read and I'm determined to do a bit more reading of the classics. Um, if I don't enjoy it, it doesn't matter because it was only a pound so I can just pass it on or give it to the charity shop. So that is my book haul from Book Barn. Definitely check them out if you are in the area. They are also online as well. And there's just like millions, and I mean millions of books. And they're like really fab and they're really friendly. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed our little trip to Book Barn and I will see you next time. Happy reading and thanks for watching.